I don't know. It was like 2 a.m. She's online, ranting, camera pointing at the ceiling or whatever the case is. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Anyway, uh, did y'all see the full jail call between Rye the Scientist and Young Thug? The full jail call um, was released. So check this out. You hear it? Let me go back a little bit. Can you hear it? Can they see each other? I don't know if they can see each other. Well, she's basically doing some ASMR stuff with the jewelry, and apparently he bought her jewelry. Like, I don't even know how that works. He bought her jewelry from jail. I guess somebody brought it to her. I don't know how that works. And, um, yeah, she wore the jewelry to come see him on Christmas Day. And, you know, he's asking certain things about the jewelry. What the hell? It's like, this one in particular, it's like thin and pretty light. <clears throat> This nigga the ballin' when he said, let me see the he, that you know that's his he bought that shit. He got that shit made for her. What the fuck is that noise coming from? I think I might got it all wrong. Let me see. Yeah, I might have got it all wrong. Kind of weird a bit because at first it looked like he's only concerned with the jewelry more than her. They get into some other conversation. Um, hold on. um, I thought that this one was sitting, like this one sits on top of this one a little bit. Yeah. So, the bottom might need to be a little bit. What'd you say? Say it again. The bottom might need one more, um, Lincoln. There's just an echo. Let me see if there's another one. Let me see. Like, I know for sure if you had held them, you would be like, what are you doing, Wafi? Right. But they're cute. I mean, it just, um, it, the grams. It's definitely low. Yeah, I'm having to take them back up there. Thank you. Yeah, but sure he definitely pulled a pulled a okie doke on Isaiah, yeah. <laughs> and he know he did for sure. <clears throat> I miss I you, thought, baby. I didn't even thought the Cubans were bigger. You, you you thought what was bigger? I said I, I thought the Cubans were bigger too. Like thicker, like um. Yeah, like more, more. Yeah, they fourteen, I think. But they're pretty big. They're Maybe pretty I big. See them with you. I gotta see them with you. With you in them. I, I wish I could shine, flash a light on me, but she gonna probably think I'm doing something. But um. Yeah. The Cuban that I had in this lifetime before. Um. That had a had something hanging on it, not the one you bought, but my original one. It was probably this, like physical size. I don't know if it if this one is lighter, maybe, but it's the size is about the same though. Yeah. Yeah. Is the bigger one a bigger size? Um, 
I'm gonna take them off just to see because I think it is, but let's just see. So this is basically a whole fucking conversation about some fucking jewelry. <laughs> Bracelet sounds like you got some uh, change, loose change in your hand, like you just broke a dollar bill and you're shaking it. Yeah. But like, like some dimes, like lightweight dimes. The the um, chain don't sound like that though. But I like it a lot. I'm very appreciative. Thanks, babe. I miss you. I miss you too. I wish it. Damn, I, I just look at Thug's face and. Man, when these niggas be rapping about killing niggas, they never tell you about this part of the, the shit. It, you, you could tell it. It's like he's trying to, like, he mentally he's trying to escape from the jail cell he's in by having these. This It sounds like a nonsensical conversation, but his mind is a bit freed just engaging with her about some shit that's going on in the real world. Oh, shit, damn, I thought you had, you had the, the, um, it, you know, it's just, it's it just, it's allowing your mind to escape from that box. You know what I mean? And, it, like, watching Thug, it, it looks like prison is taking a toll on him, man. It just looks like he's taking a toll on him. Like, like, he, he, he doesn't look, obviously he's not going to be, like, happy, but doesn't look like the Thug that we know. What's the rules of your girl coming to coming to jail to come um show off, you know what I mean, or come visit you in jail? Cause you got like even though you know me and me and well I said say whatever about her after she said something about me, um at, at least she's holding him down a bit, right? She's there on the calls. She could have called him from home, right? But I guess this is like a face to face. Y'all probably looking through a video or maybe through a screen or something of the sort, right? You could be at home with me. And you could put it on me. And take it off and put it on, take it off. Things like that. Miss you. You look beautiful. That shit don't look like a rapper now. That's what you want me to look like? <laughs> a rapper? If I had to have a rap name, what would you pick it to be? I like that you called me Tiger Lily last night. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy, mm -hmm. I'm all your baby. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is where it feels foul, right? Like this is where this call, even it existing, feels foul, because you know, like their little pet names and their little cute talk with each other. None of our business. It don't got to do with no case. This ain't got nothing to do. I don't even know how they got this. Is this is so? It's crazy they even got this. How the fuck they even get this? Now everybody's like these these freedom of information act kings, but it's like what the fuck about this is something that the public would be entitled to? Someone says, "Well, we pay taxes for this." I've never seen a jail call get leaked. Like I've never seen these jail calls before. Like, what the fuck do you even say to them to ask for a jail call? Somebody said, well, he's state property right now. Somebody said, they talking about code. Somebody said, the clearing her throat was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she was trying to be cute, but then she realized she had to clear her throat. Am I your baby? <laughs> Cap says, yo, she's fucking something. Y'all think she cheat on him? Bro, like. Yo, being incarcerated, you can't even probably even think of the that that, that possibility of your girl. Like, like you, you, yo, just being incarcerated. I, like, I'm trying to just even put myself in this position, bro. Your mind has to be something. Like, you got to keep in mind. Like, Young Thug is a creator, so like, you know, as an artist, that usually is either in the studio, he gets to dress how he want to dress, wear what he want to wear, he gets to usually just live a life of complete freedom and creativity where his mind could think of anything and, you know, he has resources to get it done. Him being locked up, like, it's probably a little bit torturous for his psyche because now, shit, 
what you're seeing all day is these walls, these inmates. He's probably like in some type of isolation, right? So like, bro, it's almost like killing a spirit, right? Um, I'm excited for them to see you. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they sit in the chair behind you. They told them to sit over there. Yeah. She, she told them that they could have a second one. So I think they got it split into two separate visits. Which is, I mean, that's good though. I mean, get some extra time. Yeah, maybe you need I to ask her. I'm just going to say this, man. Y'all, all my my young boys out there, all my people that's not in, nigga, look how bored thug look, nigga. This is how you're gonna be communicating with your people, nigga. If you keep fucking around and, and fuck around that fuck around and get locked up and shit, body in. Miss Lady, I mean, Lord have mercy, y'all just be, y'all be ready to rumble and pummel and scrumble every fucking day of the week, no matter what day it is. Jesus, Jesus Day, like. This lady, I went, I want to know what this lady's name is. When we on the way out, I'm gonna try to look at her name tag yeah, because I'm. Uh uh, no no no. She rude too, but she like a classy rude. She like, she ain't gonna say too much. She just will be like, uh uh. Mm -hmm. Well, she ain't gonna say that. She'll probably say something like, no, you can't be doing that. You ain't at home. You ain't at home. Like she say stuff like that. This lady is more like. And Mariah, where the hell you think you going with that on? <laughs> Yo, 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 young thug look like a granny right here, just sitting, just listening to the tea. Like, yo, bro, man, jail just seems horrible, dog. Jail seems horrible. I wonder if you can see her, because it looks like there's a glass back here. You can see a little bit out into the free world, right? Like, I think when you're in jail, like, they don't really make, like, you're not getting a bunch of windows where you could just see across the street. They kind of just create, like, a world where, like, your world is those four walls, right? Like, she move her neck like that and everything. Somebody said Blueface loves jail, though. Yeah, he loves jail because he know he's going to be there three weeks. <laughs> she got, um, she wear glasses. She a black you know what that is? She, she black. She like, she not fat, but she not like a small person. I think so. I gotta, I'm going to look at her name tag on the way out. Yeah. Where are you trying it? It's right here. I'm gonna put it back on. I just didn't want to have to put the phone down. That nigga care about that chain, man. <laughs> Yo. Hold on. Nigga, she's a chain model at this point. Man, I really got too much to talk to you. Put that chain back on. I do not miss these days. Yeah, yeah, boy. Oh my god. <laughs> that hurt so bad. Let me turn the other one. Them motherfuckers dancing. This this ain't even clear. More on the side. What you say? More on the side. Since when you you came you coming up with this on the spot? <laughs> no. If you look at any picture with me with your kids on, you'll see clear. Y'all think she's talking? They're talking in code when they keep saying chain. Y'all think that's code? With who? With Cubans on. You'll see the class in the front. I ain't never want no on Cuban with no class in the front. They really supposed to be on the side, not the front where you got them at. Like but. this side. <coughs> right. No, look. On the opposite side. Chicken chest. <laughs> no. One. One. You want them on two different sides. And I still ain't. Am I slow? What the other one is? Here go one. Here go the other one. I'm going to tell you this. You can really tell they like each other, though. Like, and it, it, that nigga was just talking about jewelry in the beginning, but like, you can kind of tell. She like him for sure. And I'm gonna tell everybody when he come home, even when he was a 32, he could still lift this shit up. So don't get it twisted, baby. This was just an add on. And then I'm gonna. 
It's right here. <laughs> you lose some shit. That's on you. I'm not. Go I'm on. not. Shit, so I will crazy. never. I, I will never misplace. How the hell she lose a chain and then get two new chains? <laughs> man. Yeah, man, this shit crazy. They say. <laughs> oh shit. I know y'all don't believe how upset I am about that, but I really am. Yeah, I'm knowing. But it's okay. I was wondering. So when I was in there with Wafi the other day, and I was looking at, he was showing me some stuff, and I was asking him about. God damn! Enough about the fucking jeweler, man. Nigga, ask some questions you want to hear, yo, young thug. You ain't touched that fucking applesauce, did you? Did somebody throw a honey bun on your bed? These are the questions we want to know. The size of the one that is getting made. And I asked him how, how long, how much longer. He said January 20 something. And it's like, why is it going to take so long? He said it was because the stones that he's putting in it is so big and they are cutting them piece by piece. They're not like, they're not like stock shaped stones. It's not like round and it's not like, you know. It's like different, right? But then I was asking him, just based on what he charged me, and then what he was showing me, he was saying, I asked him, like, what where the stones, this, I don't want to, want to tell you. I'm, I'm, I don't want to know, but I also do want to know because you, you don't want to have to be bamboozling me? Right. You probably can get the same thing from Elliot. So it's like, no. I don't want to know. I'm for sure Elliot's going to gonna charge me more. I, I'm gonna say, you know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna send Elliot the rendering and ask him how much he would have charged for that. Right. So, <clears throat> so anyway, so he said, um, he was showing me some stones and I said, is it gonna be, what size are the stones gonna be? And he said that he was like, I ain't gonna lie, man. After watching a good 10 minutes of this, I see why Gunner snitch. Like, hell out of here, man. I got my badass bitch on the other side of this fucking phone. We're talking about jewelry and jewelers. I want to come fuck. I want to fuck. I'm snitching. I'm coming home. Sorry, niggas. I'm coming home, okay? Listen, she got a nice little ponytail. I ain't about to let her leave the jail, the jailhouse, and another nigga pulling that shit, giving her back shots. Nigga, I'm coming home, nigga. Let me out. Fuck that. I'm not holding down for nobody. Fuck YSL. Fuck all this slime shit. All that slats bullshit. Get me out of here, nigga. I'm going home. I see what I'm gonna told. Yeah, hell no. We ain't sitting in here doing this all day. Fuck that. I'm leaving. I'm I'm getting out. Yo, the next call after she... Yo, I'll, I'll probably put her ass on hold and call the prosecutor. Come on, man. Let, let, yo, listen. Call the judge up. Let's get a plea going on. I got to get out of this bitch, man. This, ain't, this is a waste of fucking time. This is a waste of fucking time, bro. I'm sorry, man. This nigga's over here just trying to buy time, just doing a whole bunch of nothing. Like yes, your song. The craziest part—I never even heard this bitch even talk talk as much as I'm hearing her talk here. I didn't even know she had a voice. She sing like some songs. I heard she used to fuck on Yachty back in the day. Yeah, you know how these girls come in. Yo, Yachty used to get mad pussy, bro. Yachty's like this. Yo, Yachty's like the rapper starter dick for mad hoes. You feel me? I think Yachty caught her. You know what I mean? Was knocking that down real quick. Feel me? I think the same with JT. Like that nigga Yachty was doing his thing. He's still up in the game. I ain't gonna hold you. My boy Yachty was really getting him though. I ain't even gonna hold you. Real talk. Yeah, this conversation boring as hell. And the signs that he was telling me that the songs. Yo, Jeffrey, let me give you, a, let me give you a tip, bro. Pause, extra pause with the tip. Yo, six nine had his bitch reading Instagram comments. Like, no, read me the next shade room comment, shorty. I don't want to hear nothing you gotta say. Like, bro, these chicks don't got no fucking brain. They not funny. They can't tell you a goddamn joke. Read the Instagram comments that I could know what's going on on the shade room. Fuck out of here with this other bullshit you trying to tell me. Just read the comments. Let me like, like feel like I'm in the mix and just shut the fuck up and go home. All right? I, I understand why. Somebody said, oh, she's a hoe? Nah, she's not a hoe. Bro, everybody had like a little rapper, but I think she had a little rapper, like a little rapper fling or whatever. Like, she's not a hoe. I don't, I don't know about mad people. Like, listen, when we talk about hoes, we talk about like Meg. Like, <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, bro. I know like 15 rappers who claim they hit, bro. Like 15 rap, like I'm like, yo, hold on, bro. Yo, how more niggas fuck than you got features with? How more rappers fuck than you got? For it shit don't even make no sense. Feel me? I ain't gonna lie. One nigga swear he fuck. To this day, I'm like, yo, ain't no way she fucking a nigga with like 800 plays on SoundCloud. It don't even make sense. So I don't think this Mariah the Scientist girls like, uh, like you know, I think her and Yadi had a little whatever. That's what I heard. Like you know what I mean? 
And then I think her and Thug, like, she not linked to, she, you know, she signed to Tori, right? But I don't think she fucked Tori. She ain't even fucked Tori. She ain't even fucked Tori. You feel me? She kept a straight business. From what I heard. I don't be knowing. You know what I mean? I'll be telling you what I hear from behind the scenes. Um, Yeah, she just had an ex-boyfriend or like an ex-situation. You know? Yeah, she's not a Meg lover, bro. What else that talking about? All right, bet. Yeah, yeah, this shit boring, man. Man, I see well, why niggas Kind of like a... Yeah, a diamond cut. Yeah. Man, these niggas over here having diamond class and shit. Yo, these niggas sound like Tracks NYC, man. Fuck out of here, man. Hell no, nah, nigga. These niggas sound like Tracks NYC. Let's get the diamonds cut here, the rendering here. Let's get the mold made here. Fuck out of here. Anyway, thug, you know what I mean? Hold your head. It do look like it's weighing on him, man. You know who it don't look like it's weighing on? Waffle Lucci. <laughs> that nigga was in court. Let me, let me see. <laughs> Swallowing. So why if Lucci is sentenced to date, he will serve just three. Hold on, hold on. I mean, yeah, here we go. My boy wife and Lucci was in court like, yeah, man. And I got out a real nigga. Department of Corrections. His hair grew. The felony which carries a sentence for. My boy Drew feeling in there. It's just not that sort of. Let's get to the part where he apologized for. It would be. For Sparta kicking the nigga out of his motherfucking car because the nigga was bleeding on his. You know what I mean? It's upholstery. You feel me? Let's see if we get to it. Defendants. Section 20. Mr. Banks, do you think or Mr. Banks? I'd like Yes, thank you. Yeah, that's Lucy right there. Thank you. Hey, listen. When you're a good lawyer, man, you cooler with the prosecutor than you cool with your own team, man. Anytime, first of all, if you go, if you hire a lawyer, if his hair not slick back, you guilty. Facts. That's a fact. If you hire a white lawyer, if his hair not slick back, you're guilty. Trust me. You ain't beating that case. Your lawyer, no disrespect, your lawyer, like, this is how you know you got a, a good lawyer. Like, sometimes I've hired a lawyer of, like, a website, whatever, back in the daytime, shit for some random shit. When I show up to court, there's two things I look at. If he got a big nose and a slick back hairstyle, like, you know what I mean? One of those, one of them ones. I'm like, yo, I'm beating this shit. Yeah, this shit ain't going far as a motherfucker. I'm beating this one. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I'm beating this shit, of course, oh yeah, like yeah, nigga, like yeah, yeah, this nigga, that's how he should come to court. All right. Let me see, where did my man um, Lucci address the court? And he apologized for the fuck shit he did, and apologized to the family. Do you understand that this is a um, negotiated plea, which means the state... Hey, by the way, you know how happy Lucy is to get out of prison, bro, or jail? Remember Young Thug was authorizing all type of niggas to stab him up? He got stabbed already? Like, y'all remember that? Now, keep in mind, let me ask you a question. If you Lucy now, you just got free. Young Thug done authorized for you to get stabbed up and killed. You finally made it out alive. You now on the free side. Are you going to try to have niggas pull a play on Thug and try to get him stabbed up? Or are you going to be like, you're going to leave it alone? You're just going to leave it alone and be like, you know, this, enough is enough. State will recommend a sentence of under count 69. The recommended sentence is 20, serve 10, balance probated. And the special conditions of probation is, are no street gang um, activity, no contact with any known street gang members or associates. No contact with the co-defendants, Reginald Carter, Artes Carter, Justin Ushery, Demonte Thomas, Tadricus Glass, Rayshon, I'm sorry, uh, Rayvon Boyd, Leroy Pitts, Rondavius Hawkins, and Derek Adams. No guns or replica guns. No gang affiliation or conduct associated with gangs on social media. You must be gangfully employed and no further violations of the law. Do you understand that those are the conditions? Yes. Uh, and and Miss Christian, I just wanted to make sure that the record is clear. You said this is a negotiated uh, plea. This is a negotiated recommendation, but it's officially and formally a blind plea. I just want to yes. make sure the record is clear. Yes, Judge. Okay. Do you understand that those are the statutory conditions of your Yes. Do you also understand that you are to have no 
violations of state or federal laws while serving out any portion of your sentence to include any period of incarceration to comply with all the rules maintained by county jail where you're housed um, prior to being transported to any facility within the Department of Corrections where you're designated to serve out your sentence. Comply with all the rules maintained by any facility within the Department of Corrections where you are designated to serve out the remaining sentence. Um, you waive a right to appeal any and all terms and conditions of this plea agreement and the sentence imposed as well as any right possessed in connection with OCGA 244-410. And if you violate any of the special conditions that the state is free to revoke the sentence and recommend any penalty allowable under the law including that you be sentenced to the maximum for the charge in which okay. you plead guilty. It's true regardless of any under these charges in the indictment would have been life without the possibility of parole plus 20, 220 years followed by five years consecutive. Damn, that's what he was facing? Do you understand that that's what you were initially charged with in the indictment? Yes. Do you understand that the state has agreed to no pros counts 1, 68, 72, 73, 60, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, and 83. Yes. So, Ms. Christian, the only uh, charge under this uh, recommendation is count 69. Is that correct? Yes, Judge. All right. Excuse me. Is, is there a timestamp on him speaking? Does anybody know? Hmm. I guess there's no timestamp. Uh, let me just look it up. Um, apologizes. He apologizes. Let's see. Okay, here, here we go. Here we go. Served just three and a half months when he murdered. Shit. Of the Bloods gang, possession of a firearm during the. Wait, I'm trying to see the apology. Jail where you're having um, any folks say that uh, would you like to tell me anything about your client and share anything about the uh, plea? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, uh, Your Honor RT No Cloud, what up, bro? Uh, this man is after shots were fired, defendant, um, the defendant dropped the right to testify on your own behalf, and if you receive, possess or use or transport a firearm, you'll be guilty of a felony which carries a sentence for penal and for visit. Yeah, I can't find it. Corporate executives uh, guilty. Probably have to be after this. This would be. Thank you, Mr. Bennett. Uh, let me just. Oh, here we go. Uh, first. Oh, oh, oh here it is. Oh, it's really short. Four sentences imposed. You're free to make a statement, but only if you wish to do so. Would you like to make a statement at this time? Mm, yes. All right. Um, first off, um, I want to say my heart goes out to my friend James Adam and his family. Um, also, I want to apologize to my family and my friends for putting them through this stressful process. And I would also like to apologize to the court. And that's it. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Bennett. Uh, let me just confirm with the state that the only pending charge in this recommendation is count 69. Yes, Judge. And what is that charge? The violation of the street gang. Okay, okay. That's what he got sentenced uh, to for. Okay. All right. All right, man.